Amy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about tools of the tray. First of all I'm going to start off with the face brushes and my favourite brush to use to apply BB cream, foundation and any cream fluid is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. It's really quite dense and round. I notice a lot of other YouTubers highly recommend this brush. Second up I've got the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Now this can be used for cream products, foundation, powder, whatnot. I personally use this for setting my makeup with um, a powder. The reason why it's got a little bit more movement to it, it's dense like the Sigma brush but for me it's got a bit more movement and I want that when I'm putting powder on my face. I don't want it to hit my face and just set like that. I want to be able to blend it and buff it, hence the buffing brush. To follow on with face brushes, I've got the Real Technique setting brush. Now I use this for under the eye. I, as you can tell, it's quite flat and it tapers down at the sides and it's quite narrow as well. So I can, you can use it to pat and set powder underneath the eyes like that or you could use it on the thinner side to use it more in the inner corner. I was quite surprised by this brush. I didn't expect to use this as much as I do and I use it every day. I take it in my makeup bag with me and use it throughout the day. Last of the face brushes I'm going to talk about is the contouring brush. I use this one to um, blend contour into the sides, around the neckline and even around the hairline. I really like this because it's actually quite a decent size and it's angled. It moves the product around um, and the brushes are quite flexible so they move the product where you need it and blend that out quite well. MAC has one as well and it is slightly smaller however I prefer the Sigma one. It's just my personal preference. So yeah. Now I didn't really talk about a blush brush. A blush brush. Now I didn't talk about a blush brush just because I haven't found one that really works for me. Like I don't love any. There's none that's really caught my eye yet or really works for what I want it to do. So at the moment I'm just using the, uh, it's a little tiny short handle MAC contour. It's a 186 brush. This is obviously um, like more of a contour brush but I just use it for, for blush. Ugh, tongue twister. It's quite little so I kind of just use that just to put blush on the apples of my cheeks. So that's what I'm using for now but if anyone's got any other suggestions of a better blush brush I'm keen to know because this just it's just doing its job. It's not amazing. I'll just show you the comparison between the MAC and the Sigma contour brushes. Now ignoring that the handles are quite short you can tell that they are quite different. Now I'm going to talk about the eye brushes. There are so many options and really you don't need you know 20 brushes for your eyes. It's probably the same brush you're using over and over again. So I'm just going to run over a few of the, the eye brushes that I use like every day or a lot of. And there's still quite a few of them really. Okay to start off the MAC 239. I use this to pack on eyeshadow. I like that it's quite short and dense and firm. Um, as you can see, there's product coming off that now. But I use it just on my, um, the eyelid to pack product on. Love it. There is a Sigma takeoff of, of this as well, but I find that this one's a bit more stronger, sturdier, and you can actually get the, um, you can pack the product on more with the MAC one. So I prefer the MAC over the Sigma. The, now these are all not MAC brushes, by the way. The next one is the MAC. 217. Now, this is one that everybody raves about. Most people have. It is a really good buffing, blending brush. Most people have, as makeup artists, have a couple of these in their kit just because you just go back to them and you blend all the time and you just probably don't have time to change. If you had to buy one brush in your whole life, it would be a MAC 217. You can use it to put on colour and blend colour, but I personally just use this to put to blend colour. I recommend buying a short handle 217, they are just not the same. You have to get the long handle 217. It's just so much better. I'm not sure what it is about the short handle ones with MAC, they just are not the same. I have heard that they are machine made and the long brushes are handmade. I cannot confirm that, but that's what I've read and heard. So yeah, 217 long handle, holy grail brush, everyone needs one. 
Moving on to pencil brushes, this is a Sigma pencil brush. Now that Mac has one of these as well, I just have got the, this one in a pack so I haven't really gone and purchased so I can't compare Mac to Sigma with the pencil brushes. I use this pencil brush for under the eye, so just to add um, eyeshadow underneath the eye. Also I use it across into the crease here if I want to like darken up a little bit. Um, it's obviously much finer than the MAC 217 so you can you know be more precise with this brush. It's also really good um, if you clean it, hand use it as a inner corner highlighter because it's so tiny and it's got that little, it's got that point and it just is so precise. So I really love these pencil brush whether it's MAC or Sigma. Now I'm going to move on, it's still around the eyes but it's not eyeshadow. So this is what I use, it's the small angled E68 by Sigma. I use this for eyebrows. So this brush can be used with any types of product, whether it's eyeshadow or uh, a gel. It's just so good, it's so small. It's, it's much smaller than the MAC one. So I, it's quite good across the brows. Also it's good um, if you're doing an eyeliner with an eyeshadow, just across the top there. Yeah, I love this brush. I use this every day worth it. Yeah. Just to mix it up I'm going to throw in a Real Techniques brush. This is the Lash Brow Grooming Brush. Um, if you watched my last video I talked about this in quite a bit of detail. Now when it comes to liquid eyeliner I use the Sigma Eyeliner E5. It's actually quite thick so it's really hard to do the winged eyeliner with this one but I do use it to go over and then what I use on the end is not actually a brush it's actually a liquid liner pen just because it's got that felt tip and it's much more precise so generally I will use the brush to use a gel liner to go over and then I'll use this to define that tip point at the end. What I now do is use the old one and I use it more as a brush because it's got that precise tip so I just dip that into my gel liner whichever one you're using and use that so I'm still using the same gel that I used with this brush, it's just that I'm using this here as a brush rather than an actual product now, when it runs out. So that's a handy tip. The last brush I'm going to talk about is the Sigma Angled Precision Brush, which, ah, dyslexic, Preci Precision Angled Brush, um, P84. This is one of my favourite brushes, it's angled, obviously, as I said, but it's like a fingertip, so you can use it for concealer. I use this under my eye mainly just because it can get in there much better than my finger and it's hygienic. Yeah. There is another one that they have which is a round one. I have that as well. Um, but I prefer to use the round one for concealing blemishes and the angled one for the under the eye. So that's just my preference. There are some other brushes I'd really like to try but it is quite hard to get your hands on them in New Zealand. So if you guys have any brushes that you use and would recommend them, let me know because I'm still looking for that holy grail blush brush. Now just to go over some other tools of the trade, I've got here some brush cleaner. It is really important to keep your brushes clean and hygienic. So I rate this MAC one. It takes the colour out of any of your white haired brushes. What I do is get a little face pad, pour some of the product onto the face pad and get the brush and swirl the brush around on the pad. The reason is I don't want to pour the liquid down the funnel of the brush just because that will can potentially break up the glue and then your brush hairs will fall out. And let's be honest, you don't want black hairs on your face that aren't yours. Eek. Thanks for watching and let me know about the brushes that you love and yeah, subscribe, like, follow me and comment. I want to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Hold oh there. I missed a brush. You don't want to okay, not let know what you do want. <laughs> what you do want to do is what you do want to do? Fuck. There are so many that you can use, but some really <laughs> um when it comes to liquid eyeliner, I um uh, stop scratching the eye, fuck. Um my last brush uh, my list. The last brush I'm gonna talk about is the